Why, hello there. So it's been full. So it's been two months since I switched from high fat back to high carb. And I want to talk about some of the things I'm feeling. What are the differences? And what do I weigh now? What does my body look like? All that is coming up after the commercial break. I love your colon, girl. It's my world. I won't ever make a sound. It wasn't much of a commercial. I didn't get a chance to sell anything in it, but that's okay. So I want to talk from head to toe. What am I feeling that's different? Now that I'm back on the sugar roller coaster, is it roller coastering or am I just a normal human being? Can I handle the sugar now? What happened with all that? So let's start from the head and work our way down to the feet. And towards the end, I will show you my beautiful body as it is now flexing like a thunder god. So the biggest difference I noticed with my hair is it's less greasy now. It was so greasy, I never really, I just assumed that was normal, but it's pretty much as soon as I went to the high carb again, it just, it got dry again. But I will say this, on the high fat, my scalp wasn't itchy. It was so greasy, but it was like a protective layer of grease. And now it's itchy again, dry and itchy. So I gotta find that balance. It's like, how much fat can I eat? How little fat can I eat to get that scalp lubricated? I don't know, but it's itchy. I have more dandruff now, but it looks less greasy. It's a trade-off. My skin is pretty much the same. I haven't fully figured it out. All I know is that I break out in two different sections for different reasons. I get the T-zone tiny bumps on my forehead and nose, and I don't know why that is. And then I get big zits around here for a different reason. And it's very confusing because one will get better and the other will get worse. And they vice versa flip. And what the hell is up with that? So I'm still trying to figure out if it's a food sensitivity that's doing it. But I've calmed down around here. So I think it was those roasted chickpeas. I didn't realize they were higher in fat. I forgot that chickpeas are like 15% fat. So when you roast and heat fats, that's like the worst thing you can do for your skin. But in general, my skin is okay. It could be perfect. Er, I would just, I wish this was smoother. It's not noticeable, so it's not like embarrassing acne where I'm afraid to leave the house, but it just, I want it to feel better. I know it could be better, so I'm working on it. I haven't noticed my hair getting thicker or thinner. It's just, whenever I shave it, it looks a little worse for like a week, two, three weeks. And it looks a little thinner because the light just penetrates the scalp so easily. And since the hairs on the side are pointing backwards and these are pointing forwards, that's my theory and it lets the light in. What a cruel joke by Godin's McThunderwood that one was. But the reality is I'm not on a fully raw diet and I'm not taking the herbs that drive up circulation up there. So I'm not fully on my own protocol here. I'm like trying to build muscle as well and remain balanced in Canada. So it's tough to be on fully fruit and I don't have Dr. Morse's herbs. So I don't know. I don't know how much better this will get doing what I'm doing now. I might have to wait till I get to the tropics and fully just fully it up there. My left eye just leaks mucus all the time. I, I can't figure this one out for the life of me. It seems when my colon is more backed up, it will leak more, but it's just the left eye. I don't understand it. It's like my brain has found a way to get toxins out through my left eye and it won't stop. It won't clog up that hole. I wish it would stop because when I close my right eye, things are blurry in my left eye. Like I just have acids coming out of this left eye often and it's damaging the eye. And it's like, why are you doing this body? Choose another path. So 
I have such amazing vision, but I'm realizing it's just my right eye that's so good. So that sucks, and I'm trying to figure it out. My teeth are a little more sensitive on the fruits. It's not terrible, but I do worry a little bit, and they're not the whitest things I've ever seen in my life. They ain't no ivory piano keys like black people get. You lucky black people. I just feel like no matter what I brush them with, if I use the charcoal or baking soda or whitening toothpaste, it's like no matter what, my diet just stains them again instantly. Either the beet juice or eating mangoes. I'm eating all these like yellow foods and the greens. It's like I need to eat just white foods, white rice and cauliflower. It's the perfect diet. My energy levels are pretty consistently good. Not always, but pretty consistently good. Not always, pretty consistently good. Not always, but... For the most part, I feel good most of the day. Sometimes I do get that afternoon slump. Usually I feel good, then I have my green juice, I feel good, and then I eat a fruit meal, and sometimes I get tired after that fruit meal, or if I have a fruit juice, same thing, but I've noticed if I get an amazing night's sleep, I can handle anything. I can handle the blood sugar spikes. So I think I'm gonna start researching that more, how to get the perfect ideal sleep where you're just fully rested. I have to study this more because it's the key to life, I'm telling you right now. It's like the most important factor. If you can sleep well and you're fully rested, fully recharged, you can handle the blood sugar spikes, you can handle anything. You can work out harder, you're happier, everything works better on a slept body. I haven't had any joint pain in a while. Sometimes my knees will get slightly sensitive. I don't know why, like it's like minor arthritis, nothing to complain about, but sometimes they would get that. And I haven't felt that in possibly a month. I don't know, like I think just the fruits cleanse out whatever. The nut and seed diet was just kind of nightmarish. My digestion is much better. Still working on it. It's not consistently perfect, but like yet yeah, today was amazing. And I'm thinking, okay, do I just eat exactly what I ate yesterday to get this all the time? It feels like if I do it, if I eat the same foods, I don't get consistently same digestive powers. It's like it's not the same, so it could be something else with my mind. I tell you, every time I sleep over at my girlfriend's or she sleeps here, I'm often more sluggish down there. Tell me that. Why the hell? It's like my mind feels like I'm not good enough or I'm embarrassed by my poo something it's it just holds on to it and it can't be the diet it can't just be food it's something with my mind that is creating that so i gotta figure that out and then just relax and let it go because i do hold a lot of tension in my gut that's the one thing cannabis used to help me with it's the like as soon as i smoked it i could feel my gut relaxing that was the one benefit. My bladder's on fire though. I pee so much with these juices. I'm trying to cleanse and then it's just like, oh my God, it's a pee nightmare. So much pee. So much comes out of me, it's not fair. I don't know how to stop it. I don't know if I can stop it. <laughs> I pee more than you breathe. So hopefully I figure that out soon. Cause wow. When I was on the high fat diet, I noticed after a few months, the back of my heel was like dry, like the, around the Achilles heel, the Achilles tendon. It was, I had some dry skin back there and now it's gone completely smooth as a baby. So I'm happy about that. My skin seems to be hydrating. So let's get into some of the numbers. What do I weigh? What are my stats? So my last weigh in was February 1st and that was five months into the high fat diet and then i continued one more month but i didn't weigh myself in the next month so 
we're weighing three months after my last weigh-in, but one of those months was high fat. Very confusing, but compared to my last weigh-in, I was 131.2 pounds February 1st. Now I'm 137 pounds. So I'm packing on the gains of a mountain minotaur. I was 12.3% fat, now I'm 13.5%. So I can't say that carbs don't make you fat because I am fatter, I am. So I don't know, when I look in the mirror, I felt the high fat body was just, it was better for muscle and less fat. It just, I looked more ripped. So it feels like, I don't know if it's just the glycogen and the water pumping me up a bit, but I feel maybe slightly more pudgy. Pudge factor has increased by four. I was 66% water, now I'm 65%. So strange that I was more hydrated on the high fat. And now that I'm like full of glycogen and I'm eating mostly fruits and vegetables, I'm less hydrated. That's weird. My muscle percentage was 45.3%. Now I'm 44.7%. But when we take in the total calculation of the weight, I had 59.43 pounds of muscle in February. Now I have 61.24. So the gains, they are very much gain-like. I do feel like I could just punch through walls I feel strong. I'm, I'm waiting for somebody to come up to me and I'm just gonna push them so hard. <laughs> I don't know why, but I will push them through a chain link fence and the fence will break and I will film it. And I was 6.2 pounds of bone, now I'm 6.4. Don't know how accurate that is, but there is the reading. So my goal here is to gain weight. I do want more muscle. But I want strength. I, I want to be unassumingly strong. I'm not looking to get like jacked like Vegan Gaines. Vegan Gaines looks fat to me. I don't know. When he flexes, I see no definition. I just see like huge balloon arms. I would arm where I bet. Maybe I'll challenge him at the next meetup. I will rip that guy's arm off. But yeah, I'm on a new program now. I'm actually doing convict conditioning. And before I was just doing as many reps as I could, just going till exhaustion, and that doesn't really build strength. So I'm on a program now, and I feel like we'll know in a couple months whether my diet is helping me progress or not. So I'm still kind of confused on the whole protein thing, how much we need, but I'm eating a fair amount with my bean meal at night. I don't eat it every night. Today I'm gonna be 100% raw, and I do have my raw days. So I'm eating mostly vegetable juice and fruits throughout the day, and then my bean meal at night with veggies. That's what, what's been my staple, but sometimes I'll get rid of the bean meal and do quinoa or just another fruit meal. So that's what I've been doing. I forgot to mention, I'm so much more hungry now. I'm a hungry, hungry hippo bitch. It just, it's much different. When I was on the high fat diet, it's like I could go 21 hours no problem without eating. I could even be active. And when I got home, I wasn't even that hungry. It's just like, yes, I should refuel my body now, but I could wait. It wasn't like urgent, but now I'm just hungry, much more hungry. It's that carbohydrate shit. This is why I did that high fat diet, partly. It's just like, it blunts the hunger, allows you to tap into your body fat for fuel more, and I'm not sure that I'm doing that now, because I'm just hungry, and I eat these fruit meals, and I'm like kind of satisfied, and having my bean meal, it just, it takes so much more food to get satisfied, and that's a negative, definitely. Now what you've all been waiting for, the body. How's the body look? You already skipped to this part, didn't you? You skipped through all that stuff just to get here. How dare you, you impatient son of a- So this is me in March. This is six months, high fat. This is the end. This is right when I started high carb. So this right now, 
This is the result of six months, one meal a day, high fat diet. And comparing that to when I first started, you can see that I put on some size. I was more cut in the first picture, but I definitely gained some size. And I got a hell of a lot stronger. I can do so many more push-ups and pull-ups than I ever could before. So looking at me now, if we put them side by side, it's tough to tell, really. I'm not sure if I've gained a ton of size, but I'm not going for size, I'm going for strength. So I'm not sure how much that's going to show up. To me, it just looks like I have a bit more fat now on my body in the midsection. But I haven't been doing any ab exercises, and I'm going to start adding in the leg lifts. For the first six months, I was doing just push-ups and pull-ups and some squats. Now I'm going to also incorporate the bridge for my back, where you're just like an arch, and the leg lifts to do my abs, so it's more of a full body workout now. So that's it, that's what I look like, that's what I feel like. I've given you the update. I feel like I'm healing more with the fruits cleansing out systemically. My joints are healing, my skin feels like it's getting better sometimes. My mood's pretty good most of the time. Energy levels are, it's not like a roller coaster, it's just like a there's hills sometimes, and there's hills. I climb them, I come down, it's fun. Not really, but. So we'll see where this fruit-based diet can take me, muscular-wise. I'm curious. I mean, I have goals. One-armed pull-up, one-armed perfectly straight push-up. None of that bendy wide leg shit that I was trying before, even though John Venus couldn't even take me up on that sissy up what, what what is up with these guys so far i've challenged vegan gains john venus and durian rider and durian rider is the only one man enough to accept my challenge what's up with that he was the biggest youtuber out of all of them so he may have cheated but at least he did it so y'all are too big are you john venus you're too big you can't oh i'm not gonna do that. No, you're scared, bitch. <laughs> so I think we're done here for today. I wanna thank you for watching, my friend. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you weigh 110 pounds soaking wet. You can't push yourself off of a bed over your girlfriend. You just lay on top of her. It's uncomfortable, don't you know that? How dare you? Okay. Should you do things, click on some of those. That will help me. And please help me on Patreon. <laughs> I'm debating putting one of my videos a week on Patreon. Just, I don't like the inconsistency of YouTube ad revenue. It scares me. So I gotta diversify. So I'm thinking of doing that. Let me know down below if you hate that idea. Because you will have to pay, like, whatever. A dollar a month. If you don't have a dollar a month, you might as well just make sandals for a living. How dare you. Alright, subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one.